All right, we're with Lisa Strom. We're out here at the fairgrounds. Very exciting event today. We've got some rally racing, a lot of Subarus, other small cars hauling butt around here in the mud. Tell us about this event and what's going on here today. So we're with a group called NorCal Rally Cross, and as you can see, we're at the Santa Rosa Fairgrounds today. And um, we're just a bunch of grassroots uh, car enthusiasts who like to take our cars and drive them sideways in the mud and dirt. And it's um, quite fun. Everybody should come out and do this. <laughs> Looks pretty awesome. Now, what kind of cars do you get out here? And uh, how experienced are the drivers? How experienced do you need to be to take your car around a track like this? You know, we get a, lo we get a lot of every kind of car. So we have a lot a lot of Subarus. They're all wheel drive. Uh, it seems to be very popular, but you can you can rally cross anything. Um, I have a friend that has a $300 car that comes out here and has an absolute blast and is actually pretty competitive. Once you get on the dirt, it becomes a lot about your driving ability and uh, it becomes a lot less expensive and more about your skill. So we yesterday we had a rally school here. We made a bunch of newbies here that were uh, came in not knowing much, not knowing how to get the car to handle, and by the end of the day, we're driving aggressively and controlled, and it was it was fantastic. So there's ways to learn. There's a ton of people to help you. Um, you don't need to know anything to come in. I showed up on my first day to volunteer just to kind of see what this was all about, and they talked me into rally crossing my Honda Pilot, which is not um, a rally car, and it did okay. I didn't roll it. That was a good thing, but um, you can do anything. That sounds really yeah. fun, yeah. and uh, you got this great dirt track here, which yep. uh, gives people, I guess, a lot of room for error, more or less. You're not going to hit anything. There's no trees or a wall involved. And uh, what are the age ranges? Who can do this? And how much does it cost? Okay, so um, yeah, you're not going to hit anything. You're going to hit cones. I hit a ton today. I was practicing some new things. I hit a ton. All they, the, all they count towards is your time penalty. Um, it's about, it's between fifty and sixty-five dollars, depending on the sanctioning body um, who insures the event. Um, you can come and race if you have a valid driver's license. You have to be over eighteen. If you're under eighteen, you need to have your parents' permission. Both parents have to be present. Um, you can ride along if you're over twelve with both parents' permission. But you know, we have we have a driver here that's. I don't know. He's in his 70s and he's killing it out here. And he's or he's in his 80s. I mean, he's he's here with his like grandkids or great grandkids, and he's having a blast. So um, anybody can come do this. And now, it's really you, fun. You call it rally racing, but they're really racing against the clock. Tell us about that and how uh, do you actually have awards or you know some some does the prize winner get anything we, at the end of the day? We don't have we don't have a purse at the end. Um, we're not organized enough to have trophies. We're getting there. Um, but yes, you're racing one at, one at a time against the clock. So we have our start starting line over here and you'll navigate the course uh, as fast as you can without hitting cones. That's the objective. And then um, you're out there. I mean, it's very safe. It's very, um, you get a, an adrenaline rush every single time you run. Um, it's just, it's the, it's the most fun you can have in a car. Sounds really awesome. Now I have a 2016 WRX. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to drive it around the track, but would it be okay if I did a ride along today? Absolutely. All right, yes. let's do it. Okay. Awesome. All right.